Welcome to the Travel Man Podcast. My name is Pat, and I'll be interviewing the Travel Man today, finding out all about how he got into podcasting, his own travel experiences, and everything else. So enjoy the podcast. Okay, so you ready, Ben? I'm ready, mate. Okay, so Ben. Yep. How's it feel being on the other side of the mic today? It feels a bit, bit weird, to be honest, because I'm looking at my row of board games, which people don't obviously see. Well, they wouldn't see unless I'm doing a live stream, which I've done only a couple with Chris Rainey. But uh, yeah, it, it does feel a bit weird to be on the other side, plus I'm on a different mic as well. Oh, okay, so I'm the one asking the questions as opposed to... You asking me questions today about Japan or, or your last Pakistan trip. or something like that that might be coming up sooner exactly. or later. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, I will be asking you about Pakistan at another, at another stage because that sounds like an amazing or more so interesting trip. But we should probably save that for another yeah, episode. Yeah, we'll, we'll save that for another time. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So what, um, so, so, what gave you the idea to, to start podcasting? I think that's probably a good place to start here. I reckon the listeners would like to know why. Well, why did you get into podcasting? Let's go back a little bit further because it's what got me into listening to podcasts to start with. And that started with an audio book by Dan Brown. And that audio book was Stan's- The author. The author, um, and it was that it was that uh, audio book or that book about the alumni, not the alumni, you know, the secret oh, society, yeah, the Da Vinci Code. The Da Vinci Code. So, Stan, my friend, it was his wedding in Crete in 2013. I think it was 13. Yeah, it was. I think so. So it was 2013 in Crete. We were on a beach, a beautiful beach in Crete, and he said, "Ben, have you ever heard an audio book before?" And obviously, audio books have been around before then. And then Stan said, well, I'm listening to Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code, and I want to show you it. As an audio book, not as a an podcast audiobook. about no, the book. It was an audio book. So I didn't know of podcasts before that point or really audio books. I hadn't ever gotten into them. I didn't know anything. So Sam, Stan, Sam, Stan said, here, listen to this. And I heard this very nice, deep voice talking to me, reading me a book. And I thought, oh, that sounds pretty cool. I listened to hmm. about five, ten minutes of it. And, yeah, it was cool. So, from then, I thought, oh, God, I should probably download a few audio books on my mobile phone. Hmm. Cell phone, if you're in America. And I hadn't ever thought about doing that. And I came home, started looking on the internet just to try and figure out more about podcasting and podcasts. So I downloaded a podcast app on my Android phone because I'm an Android user, not an iPhone user. But what actually, app was that? No, sorry, I'm wrong. At the time, I had an Apple. So an I did iPhone. have an Apple iPhone at mm. the time, but I don't do Apple anymore. So, so you would have downloaded what, like Apple, Apple Podcasts, or Music, the Apple or Podcast, app. or something. Yeah. So the first two podcasts I downloaded, one was Stuff You Should Know with Chuck and Josh. So that was one of the very first podcasts I ever downloaded. Well, that was going to be that was going to be my next question. So obviously, you know, you started listening to podcasts, and so what, what do you listen to yourself? Uh, you know, who, who do you get your inspiration from to do all your podcasts? Well, it would probably be those guys. It would be um, Ben Bolin and the boys from Stuff They Don't Want You to Know. A conspiracy theories podcast from the same kind of group of podcasts, right? So they're related to yeah, the stuff yeah. you should know and the stuff you and then stuff they don't want you, you to know. History right? class and there's a whole bunch of stuff ones. Mm. They were they were bought by or how stuff works is a company. Oh, how stuff works, That's and they it. were bought by iHeart Radio. Oh, gee. Recently, okay. it was quite a big thing. So yeah. those boys are all making money from podcasting, where I don't make a cent. Mm. Uh, but the other podcast I was listening to had, oh, who's the English um, physio, um, not physio, the the space boy uh, who used to be in a band. I forgot his name. 
Oh, he's a uh, a physicist, like Carl Sagan type. No, oh, c- kind of like Carl Sagan, but he he looks up to Carl Sagan, the English guy, and it's not DeGrasse Tyson, the American oh, yeah, guy. Neil although DeGrasse his podcast Tyson. is okay. Yeah. No, I forgot. He used to be in some r- rock band. I'm going to have to think about it, but mm. he's got a podcast with someone else. Look it up on your phone I, or something. Who I haven't... Well, I don't have the podcast anymore, and I forgot the guy. Hold on. English... This is fun. English... Uh, phys... Physics. Physics. Physicists. Physicists. How do I spell physicists? Like physics. 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 to sister. <laughs> It's not, oh, Brian Cox. Oh, Brian Cox. So yeah, I, yeah, he's that good. was the he's first. Good. So he's um, got his own podcast. Yeah, he's he's got a podcast with some other guy, and they um they talk about physics and other shit. Mm. Uh, so that was pretty cool. So they were the first two uh, podcasts I listened to. So stuff you should know and Brian Cox. And Brian Cox. Are they still podcasting? Yeah. Br- um. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Stuff you should know. Bring out two episodes. Every week, and they've been doing that since two thousand and eight. Amazing, the they same two run guys. Out of content. Uh, there's so much that they could talk about. Plus, they do like mini stuff as well, and mm. and um, yeah, no, it's very fun. I mm. love it. But um, you listen. I've seen your well, podcast uh, app, and you I, listen to. How about I just go tons through. of stuff? Yeah, okay, you tell okay. us what you. All right, you so guys, to. so guy, the one solitary person I like to talk to, because you're always supposed to address one person in podcasting. Is that right? With YouTube, you address. Thousands, millions, whatever. Mm. So, the podcasts I listen to at the moment, these are all the shows. Show Shat the Movies, 80s and 90s best films. Mm -hmm. Shat the Movies. Movie Crush by uh, Chuck. He's the same guy from Stuff You Should Know. Real Ghost Stories Online. What the Fuck or WTF with Mark Maron. This is going to be obviously a... um, Explicit episode. (laughs) The Beer is Craft Beer podcast, but I don't really listen to that. It's just there. Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend podcast. Hmm. Pod, uh, wait, How Did This Get Made? A movie podcast about how movies got made, how really bad ones got made, crappy ones. Pod News, podcasting news about podcasts. News podcast. Garrett's Games and Geekiness, a board game podcast. The Acquirers podcast, which you put me onto, mm. so I can find out more about Toby, transfer Toby and Carlyle. trading. Yeah, your mate. Uh, well, he's ask, not my mate, but yeah, well, he's, a, he's an to Aussie him. guy. Get him I've on spoken the, to him on Twitter. Could, you reckon I could get he's him on the podcast? He's a finance guy. Yeah, definitely. Why about not? travel? 100%. You, yeah, I about how to be... travel cheaply or finance your travel or whatever? Um, look. Uh, yeah, Something I'm like that. Sure. I mean, you could reach out to him and try. He's well, a good guy. I'll try and reach out to him. Ask the podcast coach is another one. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we've spoken about stuff you should know, stuff to blow your mind. That's pretty cool. That's a science podcast about strange science and stuff. Mm. It's weird. Mm. Stuff they don't want you to know, which I've mentioned. The Moth, you know, about the short stories people read on stage. Mm. Layovers Air Travel. Layovers is an, a podcast hosted by my uh, my very good mate, Alex Hunter, from mm. Attaché on YouTube. Mm-hmm. The Podcast Engineering Show by Chris Curran, who also I know. Jeez, it's all paranormal podcasting, podcasts. travel. Yeah. And paranormal stuff. Paranormal so this- stuff, ghost stories. Yeah, yeah. Paranormal podcast with Jim Harold, Ludology, The Cinema Guys, Podcast Rodeo Show, Travel Man Podcast. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Revisionist History, Trip Hacks DC with my mate Rob. Yeah, I listened to that episode. That He's was great fantastic. Guy. I yeah. really enjoyed that episode. You know what? Rob... Rob has a podcast, so everyone listen to Rob's podcast, Trip Hacks DC. What's that called? Trip, Trip Hacks. Hacks DC. I'll also, listen to Layovers, a podcast uh, with Paul Papadipulu. Or oh, he's going to hate me Trip for that. Hacks. Um, Paul and Alex do Layovers, which is a fantastic travel or air travel aviation podcast. Yeah. Uh, the way I heard it is a good episode. A podcast with Mike Rowe. Remember Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs. Mm, I'm Mike Rule that, from Dirty Jobs. Is that one of your pod- that's one of the ones one I of your episodes. To. I must have missed that. The, one. No, 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 no. He's got a podcast. Oh, he's the got way one. I okay. heard it. Uh, Thinking Sideways podcast is a great podcast about unsolved uh, mysteries and okay, stuff. It like sounds that. like you've got about a thousand podcasts in your list, do you? And Thinking Sideways podcast has uh, my mate from Portland, hmm. Steve. 
Portland, great city. Yeah, Steve came on the podcast. Mm. The Vietnam mm. episode. So that's mm. Steve's podcast mm. that he hosts with um, Joe and Devin. And mm. we got Westworld, the Mew X podcast. Mew is a, one of my favorite bands in the world. Mm. But I have other podcasts. So I have also mm. a podcasting app, which these are all podcasts that don't get on Spotify. So I was just reading a Spotify list. Mm. Bandrew Says Podcast, Bonsai Network Podcast, Drive Through Games Podcast, Mastication Nation Podcast. Mastication. Yeah, mastication is not about food. No, masturbation. No, 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 not masturbation podcast. That's um, Alex's other podcast. This is another podcast by Alex Hunter, my mate, who does these podcasts with his brother. Mm. Podcasters Roundtable, a podcast, um, obviously, a podcast about podcast. Mm. Rado Talks Through. Rado is a YouTuber who talks about board game reviews. Mm. Uh, Shut Up and Sit Down, another board game review. The Dice Tower board games, The Secret Cabal board games, The Spiel board game. Mm. The White Vault I've downloaded recently, that's a story, an actual, like a storybook, mm. like an audio book, but in a podcast form. Travel with Rick Steves. That's Rick Steves, he's famous. Don't click that thing. <laughs> Hey, you're the host. You're supposed to be controlling this. Well, so uh, I think we've Travel got, Man podcast. I think we've listened and unexplained. Okay, we, you've got a lot of podcasts. We, we how we, many was that? That was too many. So podcasts, wait, wait, wait. perhaps whoever. Um, okay, so there'll be a prize for someone whoever can count or tell me on any type of um, Twitter, Instagram, how many podcasts I listen to. If you can give me the right number, which I don't even know myself, then you will win a prize. What's the prize? Not sure. Maybe a t-shirt. A travel man t-shirt. Travel man t-shirt. Maybe I want to win that. Maybe I want to win that comp. So a travel man t-shirt, travel man podcast t-shirt will come your way if you know. Well, there you go, guys. Yeah. Listen up. Count those anyway, podcasts. I digress. But yeah, okay, well, let's move along. Okay. Um, you know, you, you've told us how you got into podcasting, what sort of podcasts you listen to, where you get your inspiration from. How about you tell us a bit about yourself? What does Travel Man do when he's not podcasting or traveling? Obviously, I was you know, you've probably got a job, you've probably got a family. Tell no, us about- No, uh, don't have a job or a family, live on the streets. Live on the streets, okay. <laughs> Um, I play a lot of board games. I'm a hobby board gamer. So a hobby board gamer is someone that um, doesn't identify with playing uh, Cluedo, um, Monopoly, Uno. I, so I'm against all those Milton Bradley. So you're like games. a board game snob. I'm a board game snob slash hobbyist. Someone that actually knows something about board games. So I have a lot of board games. I could go through through them, but that would really bore you people. You don't need to do that. This is a travel podcast. So, I board game, I play guitar, I write music, I do Photoshop, I like do but, a bit of graphic but, art. But what did you do before podcasting? What do you do to Is pay the bills? Is that me before? So, tell us. Um, I am a qualified horticulturalist. I was a landscaper. I don't do much landscaping anymore. I still do gardening. I do have a business which I service certain clients. And don't get any ideas by me servicing clients. It's just trimming bushes and stuff like that. Nothing sauce. <laughs> wow. And uh, so I used to trim hedges, but I'm scared of um, climbing ladders now. So I don't climb ladders. And what else? Well, I used to be in... Um, uh, well, I did graphic design for a bit. I worked at in supermarkets. I've worked at Pizza Hut. I've also been a philanthropist. In a sense, I've worked uh, for my uncle's philanthropic organization. I'm not going to mention it on the podcast. So, fundraising. So, I was uh, a guy that used to have to try and search people out to find money. So, I would give, um, I guess, the information of those really, uh, or those people with money to the uh, mm. consultants. So, mm. the consultants could do more research. So raising I to raising money for yeah, charitable projects organizations and, and stuff. building, I, building uh, sort of concert halls uh, exactly. and sports grounds sports for schools yeah, exactly. and all sorts of stuff. But I didn't do that side. I just had to find the people that had the money for it and mm. then the consultants do the mm. rest of legwork. So, that was a job I had. Obviously, like I said, I did the landscaping. I just burped. Um, 
What else? Uh, well, and I you do haven't, you haven't told us free. about your wife, Mandy. Yeah, because you didn't ask me that. Everyone, everyone oh, yeah, knows Mandy. Oh, you did Mandy. ask me about the um, family. So, Mandy. Yeah, tell us about yourself. I think the listeners want to know no, who is boring. Ben Down. Who is well, Travel what, Man? You just said my surname. Ben. No, it's okay. D- everyone D- knows. D- no, Down. People know. People probably never heard me say my whole name. Ben. So, what is your name? Ben Downs. Don't you but mean Ben Travel Man Downs? Ben the Travel Man Down. You know the reason why I don't say... Uh, welcome to the Travel Man Podcast. I'm your travel buddy, Ben Downs, because people just give me shit. Hmm. There's all my life people have given me crap about my surname. Ben, ben up, Ben down. Downs. Did you ever get um, Down syndrome at school? Yeah, I got I that got a lot. Down syndrome a lot. Yeah, yeah. Kids are bastards. Yeah. So I don't have kids for that reason. Uh, no, I like kids, but I just don't have any. But you got two cats. Got two cats, Miu and Remy. Miu is a grey, senile. 12-year-old cat, nearly. She's going a bit mental. Nah, she's beautiful. She sleeps on our bed every night. Uh, Remy is a little one-year-old kitten, Mr. Big Man, six kilos he's later. He's a fat boy. He's beautiful. So, he's downstairs doing he something just crazy. just rolls over immediately. Yeah, rolls over Too as soon as he sees you. Too lazy to stand up. Yeah, but that's because he wants tummy rubs. Perhaps, perhaps. Yeah, so that and... Or everyone knows Mandy. Mandy is my so wife. How long have you been man- married to Mandy now? What is that, about 15 years, 20 years? No, nah, it's um 15 years next year. Jesus. In April. April 23rd is our anniversary. So, you got something special planned? No. Nah. You better get planning. Actually, April is when we're going away. So, we're maybe... you know. Actually, you know how I said... That I was maybe going to do the Serengeti and do the Big Five and maybe Gorillas wow. in the Mist. I, I said to the audience that mm. or that one solitary person, mm. I don't know if I'm going to do that now. I think I might have changed my plans. I might be going back to Bali and just doing two weeks relaxing because mm. mm. I've got a big holiday plan in October. I think those trips can be fantastic. Those relaxing by the pool yeah, sort of trips. I think I mean, that's what I feel like. I don't know if I want to be in Africa at the moment. But I'll tell you, go on. Uh, no, the no. Amazing Race has just been on TV, and this isn't a plug for Channel Ten Jeez, or no Seven spoilers. or whatever. But no spoilers. The Amazing won? Race has just been on TV. <laughs> yeah, I the know. Australian version. I've watched a few episodes, and they visited. I think Zimbabwe. Oh yeah, that's pretty Zimbabwe safe. Zimbabwe and Somalia. No, no, another country bordering Zimbabwe. I can't remember, but it looked Don't amazing. Know. I mean, oh, it's amazing. It makes me think, gee, I want to go to um, Africa, and it looks fantastic. Africa would be a great place to see. No problems, no doubt about mm. it. But you know what? You've got to really have your wits about you in certain parts of Africa. Africa, and you've got for to be beginners. switched on. Yeah, you want to see Africa for beginners. For and sure. that is, I'd say, what? A guided N- Namibia. Tour and guided tours. Zambia, yeah. Zimbabwe, those sorts of countries, I think, are, uh, are good for S- beginners. Somalia on the coast with the I boats. I don't think Somalia is for on beginners. On the boats with the, um, with the pirates. That's for people with a, perhaps a death, a death wish. wish, I think. And so, or I might be, actually, I might be going to Philippines too, mm. maybe in April. Uh, so that would be fun. So mm. any of those places could be good for Mandy and I to celebrate our 15th year mm. anniversary, mm. wedding anniversary, which I don't know what that is. Jubilee, Diamond, I don't know. Mm. Tell me. Tell me so, what it is. so let's um, let's keep going down that travel yep. sort of um, route. Tell us about your first recollections of travel. Um. My first recollections of travel. Well, the, I mean, Probably I remember all me, the time. Maybe. Nah, nah. Well, yeah, it was when we were when we used to go to France back and forth. We used to travel to France a lot, and I do remember playing ping pong with you, table tennis at our auntie's house in in France. In somewhere. France, oh yeah, I think in I Barbizon, can remember something that. like that. I do remember walking through the forest. So some of my most amazing memories are walking through the forest of um, France. Barbizon. Barbies are all the big trees, mm. all the big pine the huge conifer trees, boulder, uh, boulders, and the huge boulders wow. that's in some of the forest in I Fontainebleau. If that's I think all Fontainebleau still there. Forest. Yeah, sorry, Fontainebleau. Yeah, Fontainebleau Barbizon Forest is a town. Perhaps. It's near Fontainebleau. Yeah. So that's one of my memories. Yeah. Also, remember a time when I was in Prague with mum and dad and you. Yes. When I, I was that. seventeen, you were fourteen, 14 or fifteen, or and I got pinched on the 
on the ass by a bunch of schoolgirls. Wow, that would have been great. Yeah, it was pretty good at the time. I thought I was like a stud. Mm. Yeah, no, it was nice. Mm. And, well, I remember France. I remember that. That was some of my earliest memories. What about the Fiji? I remember Fiji Oh, I remember trips. Fiji. Yeah, but that's way back. That's like when we were 11 or 12. Yeah, that's You know, I've got a little. diary. I've got a diary where every sentence starts with, because mum and dad made me write the diary. Every mm. sentence starts with, today I woke up and had a swim. <laughs> today we woke up. We had a swim. Today I had breakfast and then we had a swim. So what do you remember about Fiji? Well, I remember specifics. What I remember, can you remember the Fijian men's feet, how big they were. Really? These Maybe big that's men. just because you're small. No, because they were big. Hmm. But I also remember getting stung on the shoulder by jellyfish. Do you remember they pulled me up onto the boat? I can the- remember the water. Do you remember that, though? Uh, no, I remember the water being sort of murky. Uh, the, the beach was sort of a brownie, sort of yeah. s- uh, silty sort of colour. I don't remember crystal volcanic. clear waters. That would yeah, be volcanic. Perhaps volcanic. volcanic. Is that what you sand. remember? No, what I remember is doing a lot of snorkeling with Dad. And we had mm. met some other people, another family, mm. and we were snorkeling. And then I happened to pass by a jellyfish. I think it was, it was non deadly, obviously, but it was blue in color and it had really long tentacles. Mm. And they wrapped around my shoulder. And then I had to try and peel them off. And I was Ooh. freaking out a bit. So what was it? What it was kind a jellyfish. jellyfish. I don't know. Hmm. Blue bottle. I don't know. Is that dangerous? Dead if it was a blue bottle. Perhaps. You're a kanji then. You'd be more dead. Uh, great white? No, nothing. <laughs> you'd never find the body. Uh, so, I got taken onto a boat. You know those boats with the crystal clear cabins? Yeah. yeah Underneath yeah, yeah, where you can yeah. see the coral? Yeah. So, I remember dad swimming me up to this boat and this big Fijian guy with massive hands, big feet, dragging me onto the boat and laughing. He's going, you're not going to die, man. You know, in some type of Fijian accent, because I said, I'm going to die. Mm. And he said, you're not going to die. It's going to be fine. Mm. We'll put some vinegar on your shoulder and everything will be okay. Mm. So they put vinegar on my shoulder and off I went back mm. back into the water swimming. And I don't remember anything much more of that. Mm, mm. But I do remember walking through some of the the hotel gardens, the resort gardens, and remembering mm. how much I love that. And maybe that got me into gardening. Mm. At that mm. point. I seem to recall the pools being just so blue and clear I don't at remember the resort the pools. that we went to. I don't remember any of and the I pools. I remember getting a lot of sunburn. Probably a lot of Aussies can relate to that. Yeah, well, when you're white Serious like us. Serious sunburn in Fiji. <laughs> I don't remember anything about the pools in Fiji. All I remember is getting stung. I remember mm. some of the walks we did, some of the swimming we did. Hmm. Like, you remember the sand. I don't really remember the sand too much, but I can tell you why the sand hmm. is grey. It's volcanic. And what about Prague? Do you I do that? remember Prague. Do you remember I, all the... I remember most of Prague. I remember that was a long just trip. thinking, wow, this place is amazing. I'd never seen anything like it. The They're cobbled roads, gothic, gothic, gothic. churches... You know, yep. really sort of ornate spires on the top yeah. of buildings. Old, old dark. architecture. I remember it being very dark. Yeah, yeah. And I remember visiting like a museum or something. We saw like all the old crown jewels from. Oh yeah, from I do remember that when Ch- the Czech Republic was was just were, um, was was a monarchy, I guess. Probably, yeah, probably right. You know, like crowns and. Gold jewels. It used to be Czechoslovakia. So it was part Czech, of Slovakia. That's right. That's right. It was Czech, Czech Republic was with Slovakia and they split yeah, up. That's right. They did too. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. and mm. I don't know the people that went through that part of the world because mm. I'm not very good with history, mm. even though I like it. But yeah, that's probably what happened, mate. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, Prague was amazing. It's a great place to visit. If anyone wants to go to Prague, go. I've yeah. been twice in my life, and I would like to go back a third, a third time. You've been twice? Yeah, I went again with Mandy in 2005 oh, or six. Okay, okay. So, another seven, eight years later, was I went- Was it the same as you remember? It was the same as I remember. Yeah. It will be the same now. Yeah. I remember doing a ghost tour in Prague, too, mm. and they took us along this bridge and told us some scary stories, not to look in that window with the flickering light. If you do, mm. something bad will happen to one of your family members. I mean, mm. I mean that could happen just- and it's smack bang in Anytime. the middle of sort of 
what five or six countries it looks like germany and yeah what is that poland or austria and switzerland looks like it's in the middle of hey patrick yeah you got to talk into the mic buddy. oh sorry you couldn't hear me no i, I could but it yeah okay as sorry. the host you got to be in the mic all right so we've talked about that you don't have to um, say sorry it's your first time sorry don't say sorry never say sorry <laughs> so what's on your so you've been to a few places now you've you've done a lot of travel yeah. what's still on your travel bucket list what's your top five places that you that i want to go like to? to go to in the next couple of wow. years okay um hawaii hawaii yeah that's which is fair in enough the US. they have cheap flights at the moment i think Jetstar uh, to hawaii the, from problem, Australia. Look, the problem with hawaii for australians is that it's not very cheap it's quite expensive yeah. so Accommodation is quite expensive, and our dollar against the US is really terrible. It's pretty poor at the moment. So, I think this morning, sixty nine sort of sixty nine twenty or something versus the US dollar, so not great. Yeah, so that doesn't make me want to travel there. Although other parts of America is cheaper, mm. more affordable, so going to LA wouldn't be an issue again. Well, I think that's the thing with Hawaii. It's a massive tourist destination, so they can bang their prices up for everything oh. accommodation are from from memory looking at it with my wife a, a year or so ago i was just looking at prices and go gee what's the point i might as well just go to southeast asia i can get pretty much the same thing yeah. for a fraction of the price oh look i mean i'm sure the beaches might be a little bit cleaner and nicer than parts of southeast asia but probably but you know it's just so goddamn expensive well, I can't comment about any of the beaches or anything like that, but I can say that the accommodation we have looked at, bar, Airbnb, and other things like that, Airbnb is affordable, but the accommodation for hotels and resorts is triple the price that it should be, considering how dated some of the resorts are mm, and hotels. Mm, mm, they are mm. very dated rooms for 500 plus a night. Yeah, I think I've, I've seen- It's ridiculous. A few of my clients have gone to Hawaii recently and the, mm. the prices of hotels are astronomical. I mean, it's not unusual to be paying $1,000 plus a night. No, it's not. Which is bloody ridiculous and, if you ask me. You're not getting a super crazy room either for 1000 yeah. bucks a night. You're getting a, a substandard- room correct they yeah. can overcharge in hawaii because i know people will keep mm. going back and to put that in perspective i've just got back from bangkok four days four nights in bangkok on the way back from pakistan thousand bucks and that was 1200 oh, wow. for the hyatt regency in sukhumvit which is oh, wow. brand new the nicest hotel i've ever stayed in yeah so you absolutely wow. sensational hotel can't yeah. rate it highly enough and it was 1200 bucks for four nights so what's that like uh Three three hundred bucks a night or something yeah, that's, like that's, that. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I mean, for four something nights, like that, nearly a, nearly a week for twelve hundred bucks for for five stars, a proper five star resort. And I think that's why people go back to Thailand quite a lot because it's affordable. Correct. Southeast unlike, Asia is still awesome. You know, unlike for, Hawaii. Yeah. But, yeah, some other places I want to go to. So, Hawaii's So, one. Hawaii would be number one or just top five? Uh, top five. Top five. I can't, I can't rate them. Um. I don't know. For some reason, I want to go to the Philippines. Philippines, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we might that be would going be good. this year, though. Uh, I would like to go to the Caribbean, the other parts of the Caribbean, because mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I really like that Kokomo song by the Beach Boys. And always Does thought, Cuba? Yeah, is Cuba, that Jamaica. In... That's all Caribbean. Okay. So that would be all in my thinking of Caribbean. Would be Cuba, um, Jamaica, Jamaica, Barbados, or is Aruba. Barbados, a Barbados city? is a small part of it. No, Barbados is a country. That's a country. Uh, so Caribbean in general, yeah. so it doesn't matter where mm -hmm. I have been to parts of the Caribbean, mm. but I mean more to see more mm. of it. It's a bucket list thing. You went to Pan no, Panama? I, oh, no, I, no. Mum and Dad just came back from Panama. No, where did you go? I went to the Merex Mexican Caribbean. I went to Playa del Carmen. Playa del Cancun. Carmen. That's it. And I flew into Cancun, but didn't stay in Cancun. I stayed in Playa, which is fantastic. Mm, mm. Um, what else? So Hawaii. Yep. Caribbean, where else? Philippines. Philippines. Uh, Bora Bora. Bora Bora, where's that? Bora Bora is in the South Pacific. South Pacific? Yeah, I want to do more of the South Pacific. So I, it's near Australia, is it? I'd be about five hours away. 
Jesus. In a plane from Melbourne or four hours. Yeah. I was looking but at the map expensive. the other day and I was amazed at how close we are, Australia, to, you know, all these countries in the Pacific. Like, I think New Caledonia and and a whole bunch of other sort of places. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's so much there and I think most of us we're close. Never, never go. Yeah, we're close. But you know why we don't go is because it costs too much money. Even Rarotonga, the Cook Islands, which is just close to New Zealand, we looked into going there, Mandy and I. Mm. Bloody so expensive. And apparently, there's not much to do. I mean, New Caledonia, Vanuatu, Solomon Islands yeah. are closer to us yeah. than New Zealand. Are you sure? Because New Zealand's only a couple of hours away. 100%. I'm looking at the map now. Van- New Caledonia almost should be part of Australia. It's it's not that it's far part off of France, our, actually. Yeah, but it's not that far off our coastline. I'm talking a thousand, a little over a thousand k's from um, what Which is around, about an hour's around flight. Harvey Bay, Gladstone oh, yeah. area. So up far oh, okay. north Queensland. So it's about three hour flight. So Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, yeah. Fiji, yep. New Caledonia, yep. Vanuatu, yep. Tonga. I haven't been to any of these places. Well, the only place I've been to is Fiji in the same, South Pacific. Same. So, I really want to get to Bora Bora. Um, is that a country or city? Tahiti. Bora Bora is a country hmm. within the South Pacific. It might be connected with a bunch of other places, like some of them are. Mm. But Tahiti as well, where our cousin lives. We've got a cousin oh, from that'd France. That'd be nice. That'd be a good excuse to go to Tahiti. He married some Tahitian princess. Wow. Yeah. An actual princess? An actual princess. And he designed the airport there. Wow. So, he's an architect, is he? Yeah, I think he's an architect slash marrier of princesses. So, that's it, is it? So, Hawaii, Philippines, South the Pacific, Caribbean, Caribbean, South Sea. Pacific. Yeah, but you, it sounds you, like I just like water. What about it? Africa and South yeah, America? Yeah, yeah, So, another thing is doing the big five. Yeah. That Africa. would be just unbelievable yeah. to yeah, check yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, seeing... So the big Egypt. five, the big five. What's that? Lions, elephants, uh, giraffes, hippopotamus, rhinos. Yeah, okay. I stuff think like that, that covers it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, wow. Obviously, going into the Serengeti, going deep into the tropical forest of maybe Central America as well would be cool. Because mm. Mandy's um, keen on doing that. Mm. Going to Brazil. Maybe that's a Brazil. bit of a South America South would be America. worth going to. I've heard some fantastic stories about South America. Alaska. Alaska would be fantastic. Even Canada, parts of Canada. Canada. Would, although I have flown into Montreal. Mm. Mm. Uh but I haven't I haven't done any of yeah. I haven't done it. I think we've all still got so much to do. Oh, the world well, is a big place. You know what? I'm someone that's travelled a little bit but not a lot. True. But I just well, enjoy Depends travel. who you're comparing yourself against. Well, you know, a lot of people in Australia would say you've travelled far more than them. Yeah, true. I compare myself to these um, Instagrammers that like to yeah. bucket list stuff and tick things off. But a lot of them have only just walked in and out of a place and go, oh, I've been there. Correct. Where it's Correct. not really, you haven't experienced a place. No, true, true. You have to spend at least- Three to five days in one place to experience a place. Mm. Otherwise, you don't know anything. Mm. I wouldn't even list it as a place I've visited unless I've been there for a few days. Mm. You know, it's hard to say, oh, yeah, I've gone to Montreal, but I've gone to the airport only. Mm. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of places. Probably New Orleans is a bucket list place. New Orleans. There was a Phil Rosenthal episode. With episode. Phil. Uh, somebody feed Phil where he went to New Orleans, I think, didn't he? Maybe, but um, update on Phil. I'm still trying to get him on. So, I've been back and forth with his um, producer or slash assistant for mm. ages about this getting him on. There was a time he was going to get on, but it just didn't work for either of us mm. or for me. So, that was bad. But hopefully, Phil comes on the podcast one day. I really want him to come on. I love the guy. I think he's a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, if you could go anywhere today, anywhere in the world, hey, that's one today, of my final questions. Is that okay to do it now? Do you want to do it now? Yeah, we can do it now. Why not? Let's do it. Okay. So, if you could go anywhere in the world right now, today, and you get to stay there for a week, where would you go? 
Just one place. Hawaii, probably. One week in Hawaii. Yeah, sure. Is it a good time of year to go? Don't know. Don't know. Probably. Just roll the dice. Yeah, but, I mean, really, anywhere... Unless you're going to be stuck in some typhoon, which I've been stuck in before, any place is really good to see. Mm. Mm, That's true. At any stage. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Mm. Where would I go? I don't know. One week. For one week. Yeah. I think I know where you'd go. You'd go to... Um, ski, um, snowboard on powder. Mm, not right yet. now. There might not be much snow. It's a bit early in the season in Japan. If, it, if if I was doing this podcast in the middle of January or middle of Feb, I'd say if I could go anywhere right now, I'd probably say I'd go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, in America. What's there? Jackson Hole Ski Resort. Oh, okay. I don't know. I would much spend about a that. week at Jackson Hole. Has it got good runs? Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah? Shit, yeah. And yeah, they get nice. tons of snow. Really? Jackson Hole is like everyone, all the Americans listening to this now- Jackson Hole. Probably would know. All the skiers and snowboarders would know Jackson Hole. Where is that located on a map of America? Wyoming. So, I think it's near it's Colorado, north, isn't it? sort of. Wyoming is- oh, I mean, my US north? geography is not fantastic, but let me have a look here. But I'm pretty sure Wyoming is sort of near- um, near yeah. Colorado, near the Rockies. Oh, the central, and all that. So, central, yeah, yeah, Central so America, just, um, just north yeah. of Colorado, well, Central north USA, of Denver, yeah, sort of. Um, what's that? East of Idaho. Um, so okay. there's that huge sort of mountain range that goes through, and Wyoming gets so much snow. I don't know yeah. why, but Jackson. Is a village, and I think the ski resort itself is called Jackson Hole. And you've also got Grand Teton National Park, and so they huge mountains. Are they where a lot of snowboarders like to go? Yeah, big time. Is it hard to get there? Is that why you haven't gone yet? I think it would be difficult to go. You'd probably have to fly into like where would you fly into? Maybe Colorado, uh, somewhere. Maybe Colorado, somewhere, and then take a chartered flight. I imagine there could be. It could be direct flights from California, maybe to Jackson or something like that. I'm not yeah. sure. Um, maybe they have an international airport. I think it's okay. pretty well known. But that's probably where I would go. If, if we were filming this in Jan or Feb, Feb I would say. Filming it. If we were, list, uh, if we were recording, uh, recording <laughs> I would be going to Wyoming, Jackson Hole. Okay. That would be phenomenal. Okay, fair enough. Phenomenal. But... Um, so, you know so the, the other snow's question- not my thing, though. No, it's I don't not. really like it. You're not a snow nah. guy. You're a beach guy. I'm a beach guy. You like to be just laying on the beach. Yeah, but even then, I was I was going crazy with in a Vietnam pina colada on the beach every day. I was like, it's getting boring. Mm. I did seven. Where's this? Vietnam. Oh, Cam Ran in Vietnam. I was sitting by the yeah, beach every well, morning. Think- I'd wake up and go, Mandy, I'm bored. I'm yeah, doing the same bored. shit every day. I don't know how I think some you need people to do something that. in the morning. You need to do stuff. Do something during the day. I couldn't go anywhere then have though. A couple really. of hours. I could at the pool. Yeah, I did it wrong. Next yeah. time I'll fix it I think up. I, uh, Daz and I, my mate Daz and I, were in Bangkok for four uh, days. I think we did it right. Like I had a bit of a swim uh, in the morning. Uh, tell and me then about it. Around midday, the switch us up. We would go bit. do stuff. You know, let's literally, switch, we would let's leave. Switch it. We can't switch it back. <laughs> no, I'm the I'm the host today. Yeah, I know you are the host. So the host with the your most. other final couple of questions uh-huh. that we usually ask. Yeah. on the on the show that By you the way, usually ask on the show. How long do you think we've been going? Half an hour, forty minutes nearly. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. So that's probably a good uh, a ah, good a good episode. Uh, a good People will love podcast. it because it's not too long. Okay, so you 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 would go to Hawaii if you go anywhere in well, the world you, right if now. If you said, yeah, I would probably go to Hawaii okay. somewhere, That's, probably Maui. And or I'm somewhere. sure the weather would be nice this time ah, of year. Yeah, it's windy mm. all the time. But what would you eat or drink then? If you could eat or drink anything that you've yeah. had from anywhere in the world, and I reckon I know what you're going to say already. In and out burger. And fries no. and a drink. I was going to say or a, that. Um, no, don't say it. Okay. The, that that sandwich that they eat in in America with the oh, what is that like corned beef um, or something? Yeah, yeah. What's uh, it called? Oh my god! And it's just it's a Jewish luxurious. sandwich. It's a Jewish sandwich because they usually cook they um toast it on rye What's bread. It 
Oh my god, hold on. You love this sandwich. Yeah, you I eat know. it every goddamn time. No, you I eat don't. it like about Jewish five sandwich uh, in New York. Was it beef or something? Beef? Nah, pastrami. Pastrami. Pastrami sandwich. A pastrami sandwich. Pastrami sandwich. I forgot what it's called though. <laughs> why why do you call it Jewish sandwich? Um <laughs> Jewish sandwich. Is that kosher? Yeah, it's kosher sandwich. Hold on. I can't even th- I can't think of the bloody place I go to when I'm in New York to get sandwiches. There you go. That 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 looks like it, but why why is it not coming up? Why can't I think about this? Jewish deli pastrami sandwich. Is that not it? Pastrami. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is that what you call it? A pastrami oh, sandwich. Russell Isn't Daughters it called Cafe something? is fantastic. Yeah, it's called something. I just can't How think do of we it right not now. I remember what it's called. I don't know. List of American sandwiches on Wikipedia. Here we go. American sandwiches. Yeah. It's funny, though, but you thought I was going to say that first. It's not a cheesesteak. I don't even know what that is. No. Well, it's pastrami. Clam roll. It's pretty much pastrami on rye. But I just can't well, think a, of... It's got a fancy It's got a name. name. It's got a fancy name. It's, it's got like, a really fancy name. Is it a sort name. of like a German name? Uh, could be. Uh, best sandwich with pastrami. Pastrami. Pastrami on rye. On why? If people are wondering, we're both on our phones trying to figure out this bloody sandwich, and you're probably screaming at the top of your lungs what this sandwich is called. A Reuben. Reuben. That's it. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, Jesus baby. Jesus Christ. Yeah, mate. Reuben sandwich. So you would eat a Reuben sandwich, or would yeah, you have course. an In and Out? Both. You can only choose one. What would you eat or drink? One. What? Are these my questions or yours? This is your question. Probably you- if I had an opportunity to eat anything right now, it'd be in and out. In and out. Yeah, Just a regular like burger. Yeah. But what's in a normal Reuben as well? What's that normally? Got pickle, sauerkraut. Mm, I love pickles. Swiss cheese, pastrami, corned beef, on rye bread, toasted. But you've got to have... You've got to have about 18 times the amount of pastrami than you got bread. So, it's a mostly pastrami. Mostly pastrami. But Which is you, beef. Yes. It's yeah. cured beef. Cured if you beef. were to have that in Melbourne, wow. they put like maybe one or two yeah. slices of pastrami. They put too much sauerkraut Mm-mm. and they put a little bit of cheese. And mm. it's not the same thing, guys. Mm-mm. Guy. Mm. It's disgusting. Mm. Oh, it sounds delicious. Sounds yeah, like I've look, got to try one of those. They are amazing, I mm. must admit. They are very tasty. What about drink? A drink. Have you had any memorable drinks around the world on your travels? Uh, yeah, probably. What's something you can't get here that you would, mm. that you only have had overseas? That's a really good question. Um, I would say it would be a beer of some type that I can't get anywhere else but you know what most beers i can find here now even fix which i had when fix. i was in greece it's a beer fix it's uh, like a trapper yeah, yeah. style I think beer we, bottle. I think we had that i somewhere. had that in greece for the first time when i was walking around athens mm. and i stopped in uh this park with mandy we sat down had a greek salad each and it was amazing mm. had this beer fix mm. and that mm. that's still that's to like the a day one of my favorite I had, beers I had, we had be a lager here. I think it's a lot. We have it, it here. It's delicious, yeah. We have it here. Yeah. So, I would say if I could have anything right now, it'd be a fix, a cold mm. fix, a really cold fix. Mm. But I would have to be in Athens. Mm. I'd have to be in Athens. Mm. Otherwise, it's not the same. Mm. It's just like drinking another beer. Mm. Uh, and I can't... Th- well, you know what? If I had to drink right now, it'd probably be the, in the in and out meal that I'm having. And it'd be a shake. A chock shake. Just in and out. Chock thick best. shake or milk chock shake? thick shake. And this I remember thing takes In-N-Out. ages oh, that was to good. suck down. Man, the the US, the, they know how to do burgers. Yeah. I remember a place called, like, I think it was Monster Burger in Lake Tahoe. I don't know it. Man, that was amazing. When I did a ski season there, just hoovering down Monster Burgers. You know and what? They were just phenomenal. And if it wasn't In and Out, it'd be Shake Shack. That's my second choice N- for. Never um, had those. Well, it's New York based. Hmm. I've been to the original Shake Shack hmm. restaurant, actually. Yeah, I reckon if I could get any drink, it'd be the uh, it'd just be like a fresh green coconut, a cold fresh oh. green coconut. So, oh yum, beautiful. You know what? I thought of another thing. If I could get a drink now, you mm. know what? I'd go to Kuala Lumpur. No, I'd mm. go to Malaysia. Mm. 
by the beach somewhere where they do the most amazing uh, fruit juices mm. with ice. Mm. And it's a massive, massive cup with a straw and they put pineapples, guavas, mm. mangoes, whiz it up for you. How about sugarcane juice? Have you had that oh, before? I love sugarcane juice. I it's had that in um, straight Vietnam or Laos or Cambodia, something like that. I had Sometimes it. Sometimes it's just phenomenal. Put sugar syrup with this stuff. Well, and that just, can either uh, be miss hit or miss. I think I had it with ice, so just cane, su- fresh sugar cane, crushed yeah. right there by the guy with the mill thing. Then oh, he yeah. puts a bit of lemon juice. Ah, uh, there's a, a bit of lemon juice, yeah. maybe a little bit of sugar, but I don't think it needs it because it's very sweet. Mm-hmm. And then some ice, and it's just the most refreshing, beautiful drink. There's a have. guy. There's a guy in Melbourne that does that. He's on At Victoria the Street. Well, this is a guy. The guy I know is a Cambodian guy who has a little shop, little front, where he does sugarcane juice on Victoria Street in Richmond. That's mm. really nice. Mm. If you can find him, he's great. Right, so we're getting to the end of the okay. podcast here, so we might as well Was wrap it up. Was there another final so, question? I mean, look, you, you favourite country, favourite city, do okay. we need to do that? Yeah, of course we do. Okay, so, what, so what's your favourite country, Ben? France. France? Slash Australia. This is so you're so, biased. You are you know, a no, French and Australian citizen. Yeah, you know what? Usually, this stumps my guests because they go, "What is it? The one I'm living in now, or the favorite country I've visited to?" So, the cu- favorite country I've visited would be either it's a sl- it's between France and Croatia because my wife's Croatian. I've done a lot of Croatia. Mm. I love Croatia. Mm. Mm. So it would be like both of them mixed together. Mm. A favorite city would be. Paris or LA? Wow. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Paris or LA. Mm. Mm. They're my favourite cities. Both very nice places. I can't. I can't separate them. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, your choices are a bit different to what mine would be if you were interviewing me. That's for sure. Uh huh. Mm. I'd probably say, you know, I just love Japan. I just love it for the. Well, I love Tokyo. The snow. As well. Tokyo is an amazing city. Yeah. And Seoul. Yeah. I can just keep going. Seoul. Yeah. Taipei. Taiwan. Taipei was Taipei, fantastic Taiwan well. is fantastic. I love Taipei. And if I was in Taipei mm. right now, I'd get a pepper bun because they're my favorite oh, little they are uh, street snacks. But very hot. Tip. Pro tip. Pro tip. Let them cool down <laughs> before you bite into those suckers. You know what? I, bought, you will I burn your it. face. I burnt my face. I really they did. They are like a thousand degrees boiling but beef so juice. Good. In, How good are they juice, though? Whatever. Is it pork or beef? I think it's a mix of pork and beef. Yeah. Gee, I remember- Biting into it and just burning my mouth with boiling hot. But that's the same thing, meat juice. you know, when you had d- din tai fung and oh, you yeah, bite so into the one buns. of those little, um, not the buns, uh, uh, the dim sums. Oh yeah, like the and it's uh, got the soup dim sum. Yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah, so you're supposed to poke it with chopsticks, let the soup run out onto the little spoon. Uh, yeah, 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 true, true. And true, then true, you let true. it cool down, and then you eat it. It's mm. amazing. Mm. All right, final question. Yes. What country has surprised you the most that you've been to? You know what surprised me the most is Bali, because I always thought it was a shithole, honestly. So, I thought about all the Aussies Mm. that used to go there. Still go there. Well, yeah, I associated Bali with Bogans, and I was so wrong. Bali is the most amazing little country within a country. It's a a state of um, Indonesia, or however, province of Indonesia. But Bali is a place that's um, surprised me the most because it's nothing like what I thought it was. Yes, okay, Kuta is run, is full of Aussies, and I try and avoid it like the plague when I'm there. But the mm. rest of Bali, just so much yeah. fun. I think you need to go sort of north of Kuta, north of um, like Ahmed Beach is amazing. Legian. You haven't been to Ahmed Beach, have you? I, I went there been, with Matt, yeah. my other brother, your brother, and my brother. And Mandy, yeah. and that's got some of the most crystal clear water I've ever mm. swum in. Mm. Is up near the uh, and that's volcano. not that far away, is it? Uh, what it's was it? far. Three it's hours, far. It's four plus hours. In so you did a from, day trip, like Ubud. I did a day trip. It's right up the top Crazy. of Bali. It's hard to so get you're to out Ahmed. all day long. Yeah, basically. we were out all day. We had uh, driving for hours and hours. About and hours. an hour swim. Wow, and then ate drive on the back. beach. Drove back, yeah. But if if you ever want to go somewhere totally relaxed in Bali, you can try Changu, but that's still- Changu is very nice. I like Changu. It's still a little bit- um, That seems to me- tourists and stuff. Sort of more- Beach, nothing. Yeah. No one's there. Changu to me seems more sort of like you're 
your upmarket sort of sort of Bali style, younger people with more mm. money. So still backpackers are around. Nomads. Yeah, those nomad people, sort of entre- uh, expats, digital nomads, people on laptops, digital nomads in cafes and stuff. Yeah, people running businesses. Yeah, for yeah, little, yeah. little, you know, their little that's um, his, that's lodges right. or yeah. whatever on the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's a great place. Yeah, mm, great. Place. Um, Bali. Mm. If you got if you got the opportunity and you're in Australia and you think for your whole life that Bali is just overrun by Australian bogans and it's not very nice, so then you're wrong. Okay, so it's semi overrun by Aussie bogans, but you know you can avoid that. You, you, can. you don't have to go near them. Yeah, he's um, right. Mm. So go to Bali, everyone. Mm. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps up the the podcast. Do you know how I end the podcast? I've got no idea how you end the. podcast. I usually ask the uh, my person that I've got on my person. Mm. What the hell? Your person. The person I've got on. Yes, my guest. So I've got you on the so show today. I would ask the guest. How can people contact you? How can people contact Ben? Well, they already know. I've got travel Instagram, man. where I've got Travel Man Ben, and I've got the Travel Man Podcast on Instagram, so you can follow me at that. I'm at Travel Man Pod and at um, Oz Native on Twitter, so my personal and my travel one. Oz I'm Native. Oz na- at Oz Native, A-U-S-N-A-T-I-V-E, mm. and at Travel Man Pod, P-O-D, because- mm. Twitter doesn't allow you to do so many letters in your handle. All right. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed. Yeah. Oh, and travelmanpodcast.com and mm. you can listen to the podcast on every mm. every digital service. Well, I hope online. you've all enjoyed this chat with the Travel Man. Yeah, well, I'm sure they have. Thank you very much. And thanks for interviewing me today, Patrick. No problems, Travel Man. Thank you, buddy.